everyone. Welcome, welcome. How are you all? We are back for another fun-filled Stampin' with Faith video. My name is Faith Steinberg. I am an independent demonstrator with Stampin' M. So we are currently in our January series. Our jar of flowers is our stamp set of the month. This is going to be week four, card number two. Um, today for stamps, you will need your long um, reversible diagonal stripe there. And you will need your large jar. We're going to just use this side of the jar. And we'll use the stripe side of this piece. I got something really, really fun for you. So let's go ahead without further ado and get started. I am going to pop up the first uh, let me make sure I've got the right piece. Here we go. I'm going to pop up your... These are your products that you will need for this month's card. I've put um, this month's host code there as well. So you can take a screenshot of all of that at once. And then I am going to, while we're doing that, I'm going to get my supplies out and ready. And in the meantime, I am going to send over some measurements for you as well. So go ahead and take a screenshot of those measurements while I get my parts out here. I'm just going to get everything ready. There we go. All right. So we are using Jar of Flowers. I'm also going to incorporate the Something for Everything December 2019 stamp set. Just because our flowers stamp set, Jar of Flowers, does not have any designer series paper. So I'm going to, I won't go over any of the measurements or anything in the video. All of that was on that page that you screenshotted. So I don't. Um, do them in the video itself, but this is the card we're going to be making today. Isn't that super cute? Some little lemonade and pink lemonade. So I'm going to set that aside in front of me just as a reference. And let's go ahead and get started. This is super easy and super, super fun. So I'm just going to whip through it. Remember, you can always pause, rewind, fast forward this video, um, what have you. Um, I did fold my card base in half, and it looks like it was cut a little wonky, so bear with me. I'm just going to grab my paper trimmer and fix that. Just going to line that up. Um, I don't mind sending, you know, happy accidents to the mail, but I would have been a little too happy. It might not have fit in my envelope. All right, so I'm going to make sure I know which way my card opens. And then I'm going to grab uh, my designer series paper first. Now, because my drinks are going to be the, I'm going to call this lemonade and pink lemonade, I want something of a pattern that kind of has that in it. And our ink is dark, so I want something that kind of has that too. So that's why I'm going to use this one, because it mimics the dots also in my designer series paper. So let's put some adhesive on the back of that. And by the way, leave any comments you have if you say, hey, you talk too much, hey, you talk too fast, whatever it is. Um, leave those comments down in the comments below. I'm going to remove that host code so you guys can see a little easier. There we go. Um, and that way I know in the future, you know, how to change things up or the lighting is bad or good or whatever. All right, I need to try to reach under the camera for a second. I might be able to do it without bumping too, too much. Here, let's just do this one and then you won't. See me bumping the camera. I gotta move it completely. And there won't be any of that. All 
All right, there we go. All right, we're back to that. I'm going to use um, Night of Navy ink. Now, my stamp is not sticking as well as I would like. So, I'm going to have a big drawer here. I love that big drawer. And I'm going to reach in and I'm just grabbing a baby wipe. And I'm just wiping off the back of that stamp. My baby wipes, they are alcohol free. Will not hurt the stamps at all. It just cleans off that surface. I have used little alcohol prep pads. I don't find that it hurts a thing. Maybe over time it might start to break that down, but alcohol, it evaporates so fast that I don't think it matters. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to take that stamp, ink it up really well in that Night of Navy, get it good and juicy. And then I am going to stamp that on my um, Magenta Madness piece towards the bottom because I'm going to need to punch this out. Then I'm going to do Night of Navy again. And I'm going to do the same thing. And that's going to go on our Bumblebee piece. I'm going to close that up. Um, and it may not have been uh, mentioned in our directions, but you instructions, the dimensions of this, you will need a scrap strip of Whisper White or Basic White. I'm using real red ink as my color. And then I'm just going to, if my head's in the way, I apologize, but... I am just going to stamp that strip. Ah, pretty good. Now I am going to grab my paper slips here because we're going to do just a tiny bit of fussy cutting here. This is pretty rectangular, so it shouldn't be too awful bad. Let's close up that ink before we put our fingers in it for sure. And then basically all we're going to do is we are going to trim off our ends. And then I'm going to cut up the sides. I'm not trying to leave a border on any of it. Remember, some of this is going to be hidden, so it's not going to matter too much. All right, there we got that. And now we are just going to cut. And I'm just going to eyeball it. And I'm just going to cut that in half. All right, so there's our two halves. I'm going to call them halvesies. Now this is where that post-it note that's in your directions comes in. So I'm going to take that post-it note and I'm going to put it up here at the top in an area that's not going to be punched out. And then I'm going to use that post-it note as kind of a handle. We're going to slide that jar in. We're going to get it lined up where we want it. So line it up and punch. And there we go. And then I'm going to reuse the same post-it again. I label my post-its with, um, because I put all my pieces and parts in little envelopes. So I do one for each of my class members, one for my Facebook channel, one for my YouTube channel. So you can find me on Facebook at Stampin' with Faith or Stampin' with Faith Steinberg. Um, you can also... Um, send me a message there if you would like to join my class. My class meets virtually on Facebook Messenger every Thursday at 7 p.m. We do two cards a week. We always focus on one um, stamp set a month. 
um, or one bundle or what have you. So just send me a message and I'll let you know what supplies you need to order. I'll give you my website and host code to get you set up for that. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to grab my silicon mat here. And I'm going to put... I'm going to decide which end I want to be the tops. These are going to be my straws. So now I'm going to just take a little bit of my adhesive here. Use whatever brand you like. And I just put a little, and I put it on the front. Leaving about the top inch exposed. This one I did a little less than that. And it's just going to stick out of that jar. This one has a lot more exposed. So wherever that um, adhesive ends, if you feel that you're, um, based on my other one, I feel this one is too tall. So I'm just going to reach in here and trim off a, even at an angle. Um, trim off just a little bit. And that makes me feel a lot better. So now we're going to flip these over. Actually, let's do our stamping next. We have one more piece of stamping to do. Because the jar of flower stamp set does not come with any sentiments. Um, where did I put? Oh, it's still here. Um, I am using the 2019 paper pumpkin stamp set called Something for Everything. So a lot of times our paper pumpkin stamp sets, they really coordinate with other things in the catalog so I think this is a good one and I am going to do let's celebrate um, like this. so lay your stamp down flat on your surface give it a few seconds to let it go back to its natural shape and then put your block on it all right, we are using photopolymer, so I'm gonna bring in my Stampin' With Face stamp mat. It's very well loved. Um, I have an extra large piece of basic white, whisper white here. I'm inking up with Night of Navy on that Let's Celebrate. I'm gonna go pretty much, I'm gonna leave about an inch on that left side because I'm gonna trim this down eventually and make some banner tails. So. so now that I've left about that much here, I'm gonna actually cut so that it's only probably about half an inch on either side. So there we go. I have a bin over there where I save my scraps of Whisper White and Basic White. So that's what this came from. All right, and I will show you that again. So you're gonna cut up, to make that banner tail, you're just gonna cut up from the middle, probably about eighth of an inch or less, and then go from the corner to that middle, and then from the opposite corner to that middle. And then you're gonna pull out those pieces, and then you're gonna have your banner tail there. This one. didn't get quite centered like I wanted it. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to flip that over and I'm going to, this is where those dimensionals come in. And then we're going to flip over our jars as well. And when I add my dimensionals to my jars, I'm going to add them at least once or twice over that straw. Um, I always add, I have found that I like three. You can add as many or as few as you want. If you think three is too many, just pop it up there. That's fine. Do it however you choose. These are your cards, make them yours. I'm gonna go ahead while I'm here and quickly remove the release papers from all of my dimensionals. There we 
there we go slide these off we're gonna get our stamp mat out of the way we're gonna put our scissors away I'll put them actually back in their holder first and then put them away no sharp edges okay so now this is the easiest thing let's go ahead and put those jars on there where we want them let's do let's celebrate and then now we're going to grab some dimensionals now the dimensionals i mean or um some glue dots i'm sorry now the glue dots that i'm using are the small ones that we get with our paper pumpkin kits um i usually because i subscribe to paper pumpkin as well i typically don't need to um buy dimensionals and glue dots because by the time I'm done with my kit I get extras so they give you Stampin' Up! gives you plenty of everything you need I'm going to use my um, take your pick tool here and every glue dot that I add I will use this to put it down um, and I'm probably going to add um, six or seven glue dots to each jar, and I'm putting them at the top. Okay, there is that. Now, if you would like to uh, meet with me and do one-on-one -on -one crafting, I do offer one-on-one -on -one crafting. I don't charge a thing. I do, um, usually we try to keep it to about an hour um, once a week per person. So, I always have that available. If you subscribe to um, Paper Pumpkin, if you're one of my Paper Pumpkin peeps, we do offer paper pumpkin um, class as well. That will meet every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Again, that is um, virtual on Facebook also. Okay, I think I got one where it don't belong, but we'll keep going. And I also go live with my other business every every night at 7.30, except for Thursdays, because Thursdays I'm doing this class. So I'm just removing, now that I've got all my glue dots on there, I'm just removing those release papers from all those glue dots. So I've done one, and then I'm going to grab my um, Take Your Pick tool. I'm using the Flowers for Every Season gems, and I'm going to cover, uh, I'm going to try to use the larger gems if this will work. They're not cooperating. I'm just going to cover every glue dot that we put on there with a gem, a clear one. So card number one of this week should be posted as well. And that one used the green ones. Now we're going to just be using the clear ones. And this just mimics our ice in our glass. Thought, wow, that's pretty neat. It's a great idea. 
I do also have um, Stampin' with Faith on Pinterest. So you can follow me on Pinterest. Um, and I do, for every stamp set we use every month, I do create Pinterest boards. Um, I pin a lot of cards, not necessarily all ones I've made. So that way you guys get a different variety. So even if you're not a part of my class, um, come follow me on Pinterest so that you can see um, ideas for maybe some of your favorite stamp sets. I don't ever take Pinterest boards down very often. Um, so retired stamp sets, um, Pinterest boards are there as well. So, And I've been doing Stampin' Up! as a demonstrator. I've been a demonstrator for about six years now. So there is a lot of content on my Pinterest boards. Also, obviously, you are here. I have my YouTube channel, but I do have some things under playlists. So there may be other videos um, that may have inspired something or what have you under playlists as well. All right, just adding the last of our jewels to these drinks. Give the jar, the little container a shake to get some of the gems to turn over. And there you have it. That's all there is to it, my friends. Close up those gems. There we go, about 20 minutes, not a bad deal. It's only because I talk a lot. <laughs> that is our finished product. Love that card. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now. I did do one yesterday that is the same concept, same thing, the playing with patterns, just a different pattern of background paper. And I didn't put a sentiment on this. I thought, well, what do I need? Do I need another celebration? Not necessarily. Do I want a happy birthday? Not really. So I thought, I'm going to hold off on putting anything on here until I have an occasion I need a card for. Grab this one, throw a sentiment on there, and I'm done. So thank you guys for watching. I love, love, love you all. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.